growing more horrified by the moment. The half-masked soldier struggled to his feet. Around him he noticed tall hills, even mountains, and the first glimmers of sunlight. Yet none of them looked at all familiar. None of them at all resembled the peak in which she and his friends had discovered the tomb of Bartok. Norik took a step forward, trying to get his bearings, and on suddenly creaking accompanying every motion. Norik looked down to discover that not only his hands were clad in metal, armor. Everywhere he stared, Norik only saw the same blood-colored metal plates. He had thought that his shock and horror could not possibly grow worse, but simply gazing at the rest of his body nearly threw the formerly steady soldier into complete panic. His arms, his torso, his legs, the same crimson armor now hid it all. To add to the mockery, Norak saw that he even wore Bartok's ancient, but still serviceable, leather boots. Bartok, warlord of blood. Bartok, whose dark magic had apparently saved the helpless soldier at the price of Satan and the sorcerer's lives. <laughs> <laughs>